Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here then hello, my name is Amy and welcome to the first Primark haul of 2020. Can I get a hell yeah? Can I get a hell yeah? Um, so I thought what better way than to kick off my first clothing haul of the year than none other than Primark. So I do have not one, not two, got three bags full, yeah! We've got homework, we've got gym wear, we've got accessories, so uh, let's just get started really. I think I'm going to start with the homework, which is some cushions. So um, I don't know if anyone watched any of my videos last year, I presume someone did, at least one of you maybe, <laughs> I hope. Um, my videos last year and I said that I was just transforming my room. There will be a like a room transformation video coming, but until I just need to get like a throw, um, a couple more plants, get my TV on the wall, just like little things like that. Until that's all done, I'm not going to do it because I feel like why would I do it when it's not completely finished? I might as well just wait. So anyway, I picked up this pillow for my bed. I always am picking up new pillows for my bed. I'm going to probably end up with like 20 on there. At the moment, I've got one, two, three, four, five. I've got five, but I've just bought two more. So that's seven pillows now. Um, this is like a really, really nice like royal blue. And it's got like croc print. If you can see that uh, it's just so gorgeous. And then you've obviously got the tassels. This was... Oh, this is actually limited edition. I didn't know that. This is limited edition. Limited edition, it says on the tag. Um, eight pounds. I absolutely love that. So now that can go and join its family. And I also picked up this one, which I'm... I feel like with this one, I'm not 100% on. I think it might just be because that one's so, like, glossy and shiny. But I picked up this one as well, which is, like, a leaf kind of print. Because my kind of theme for my room is very, like, tropical um jungly kind of colours like blues, mustards, um that kind of vibe. Um so I do like this. I don't know. I don't know if I'm gonna keep it. You know I me mean? you're just not hundred percent sure. So I'm probably gonna sit it on my bed and see how I feel about it. But this one was seven pounds and I do like it but it's just not as shiny and as glossy as the other one so I dunno. But it does look nice, to be fair, with everything. So, who knows? Um, so that's one bag done, because obviously pillows are a big thing. Right, so now I will do accessories. So the first accessory that I got was a hat. Oh, I can't actually see. So I picked up this really cute hat. I actually love it. Um, I think this looks really nice when I have my hair straight as well. Um, but yeah, I picked up a cute hat. I really, really like it. This was £8, I believe. Um, I picked this one up when I went with my friend Beth. I tried on two. There was a black one and a tan one. I tried them both on and Beth was like, definitely go with the tan. But I think that might have been because I was wearing like a cream coat. And it like, the cream and everything goes. But... Um, so then I did actually go again with my mum and I put the black one on and she went, mm, you need to get the black one, I like the black one on you. So, I now also have the black one. Very cute. They've got like this little like buckle detailing on the hat on the side. And um, they're £8 and my mum said that this one like, you know she loves me in a hat doesn't she? Because if anyone watched my pretty little thing haul that she did for me, she bought me that awful hat. Oh my god, what was it? It was like a straw. It was like an Easter bonnet. It had like elastic that went under your like chin. Um, but yeah, I don't know if I too I feel too like Michael Jackson in this one. I'm not sure. Um, I feel like I need to have a little play around with it with some outfits. Um, but she said that this one makes my eyes pop. So I was like, okay, I get it, I get it. But you know what ones are like, she's probably just saying that. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think this one's really cute as well. I just love this style hat at the moment. I like put it on with a, like, a chill outfit and I just think it's a vibe. Um, maybe not this chill, but like, you know what I mean, like jeans and stuff. Um, so they're both £8 and they're 100% wool. Okay, it just says there on the tag. 
So I've got those two. Um, another accessory that I picked up is this little clutch bag. Now this just reminds me of Goyard. Um, I don't know if you know. Oh, add me to your shopper. Um, what is that? Oh, I think there's like a big version of this. You know, like you get the Louis Vuitton and you get this inside the big one. Maybe there's a big one because it says add me to your shopper and it's got a little clip. Um, but you know, this gives me like proper go yard vibes. This was only £4 and it's just like the perfect little clutch, I think. It doesn't have an inside pocket, which is annoying, um, but it has got the zip, so it's like secure and um, but yeah i love that i actually have been using the brown one today you know the little over the shoulder on the buckle but yeah i love that and you can also like have it like that so yeah four pounds i feel bloody hell well actually i didn't even look at the price but now that i know it's four pounds i'm literally thinking bloody hell that is such a bargain right so now we'll move on to gym wear um ah where should i start we'll start in here right so moving on to gym wear now, you've probably seen it in everyone's Primark hauls because everyone's going mad because they've finally released some gym wear that is not see-through. Hello? Can't see you. Um, so I will show you this on. Um, but I picked up these grey high-waisted gym leggings. They're a really nice thick material. Um, I got them in a size extra small and they were six pounds so then to pair with that i also picked up this like just a basic sports bra they had so many different style um sports bras to go with this um literally so many uh does that even match i feel like they're different colors or is that just my brain i don't know but anyway i picked that up in a size extra small as well and that was five pounds it does have padding in it but i normally take the padding out of my bras because otherwise i feel like because it's such round padding, I feel like it looks like you have like coconuts on your boobs. It's really weird. Um, but I'll show you that on. And then to go with that, I picked up the like matching gym top. I've never worn a long sleeve top to the gym. So I don't actually know if, like I don't actually know if this is going to be nice. Or, no, not no, let me rephrase that. I don't know if I'm going to be able to work out in a long sleeve top is what I meant. I don't know why I said I don't know if it's going to be nice. I mean, it's going to look cute, whatever, because I can see this going to look cute. But what I mean is <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to be able to work out in a long sleeve top because I never have done before. And I feel like I might get a bit claustrophobic or a bit hot or a bit sweaty. Don't know what sweat patches are going to be like on this. I'm probably going to show because it's like a light-ish colour. Um, but yeah, so I've got that, the leggings, and the sports bra, and then this long sleeve top to go over the top of it. Um, so I will try that on. Um, sad news, I did just realise that these two don't actually properly match, because they're different materials, but you can't tell that much when they're on together. Really cute. I got this top in an extra small, and it's a little bit saggy. I feel like I would have wanted it like skin tight, you know what I mean? But it's absolutely fine because I don't care that much. Um, and gym leggings fit fantastically. Really, really nice. Could have done with a little rougey up the bum, but I'm not mad. And um, they're not see-through because I just did the squat test. So the good thing about having a mirror, you can check. Um, so yeah. me in a minute i'm going to the gym but i'm already hot so ow. when i get hot in the gym i'm just gonna go Whoa. and then you've got the sports bra um and this is really nice again not that supportive considering i did get it in a small size to make it more small supportive um and also it has got those weird round coconuts in and like this one has a dimple on where my nipple would be so it kind of like defeats the point of having the thing there that one's all right but this one it's like an indentation of where my nipple would be so it just looks weird um but anyway yeah happy with this I'll be keeping this. I shall be working out in this tonight. 
um, and hopefully I don't get like sweat patches and stuff but yeah so then I also picked up these like camo print um, leggings they just when I thought, saw them they instantly reminded me of my Gymshark ones I've got like black and grey Gymshark leggings and they reminded me of these they're in that same really nice thick material not see through um, and I got these in a size 6 to 8 and these are actually the Alice Living um, Times Primark range of these ones were £10 so a little bit more pricey but I think that's purely because it's the collection and also that's got all like the like camo detailing I then picked up this really cute sports bra it's got all this like crossing at the back and again it matches the bottoms perfectly it's got the padding in but again I'll probably take it out um, and I picked this up in a size extra small and this was pounds so I will show you what that set also looks like together okay so this is the obviously the grey camo set on and I really like it fits really nicely these don't look coconutty so I might keep the padding in oh what have I done now yeah these don't look like round coconuts so I might actually keep the padding in this bra um, but yeah everything fits really nicely and I genuinely think it might be like squat proof. I feel like it's not see through, so that's the winner winner. Um, and yeah, so. Oh, and this is the back. Cute back. So then I also picked up this little black cami top. It's really, really basic and there's literally nothing special about this at all. But last year I picked this up in a white and the material is so soft and stretchy. It's honestly such a nice material. And when I picked up the white, I was like, damn, I wish they had this in a black. And they didn't have it last year. But now they've got the white, the black, and the khaki. So I just grabbed the black just so that I've got it because I know that I'm going to love it. Um, I picked that up in a six to eight, which is an extra small. Sorry, I get so confused with these. Um, and that was three pounds. I then picked up this shirt dress. Now, I'm not too sure on this at all. But I saw it and I really liked it. It's like a... Um, don't know if that's gonna focus it's like gray but not gray it's like a very very dark charcoal um shirt dress and it's a really really soft material i don't quite know how to describe that but when i am like feeling it it i want to just say it feels like matte like if you was to feel a matte bit of like a matte credit you know like a matte credit card not a shiny one a matte one and it has that matte feeling that is how I would describe the feeling of this shirt, if that makes any sense whatsoever. I feel like that's the best that I could describe it. Um, but that's how this feels. And I thought this would look really cute with like little ankle boots. Um, you could even pair this with trainers, but I feel like ankle boots would make it like dressier. But we'll see what that one looks like on. Um, I picked that up in a size 8 and it was £15. Okay, so excuse the... Um sports bra that keeps coming out i didn't take it off but this is the shirt and i'll move so you can just see like it in the mirror i'm just not convinced on this and i really want it to be um i just like if i take the belt off it's a catastrophe <laughs> it's a what it's a catastrophe hang on i'm just gonna move you um Um, yeah, so this is, you can't even see the, my legs, but look, if I take this off, can you see it in the mirror, look. Oh, I feel like I'm going to bed. This is going to get returned. If it was a bit shorter. Huh? If it was a bit shorter. Yeah, if it was shorter, I thought this with like ankle boots. That would look really cute though if you cut it and then shaved shav shav it, shaved it. Yeah. Or like, if it was like that length, and then wore it with like boots, mm -hmm. like ankle boots, like this length, still can't see the bottom of it, but like short. I don't know, I'm just not feeling it, I feel like a tent. And finally, last but not least, I picked up this like grey sweater. Um, absolutely love this, it's got like the elasticated detailing at the bottom, and it's like American oversized, and it's like a funnel neck with a zip. 
Um, I absolutely love that. I feel like you could wear that over like gym stuff to the gym or with jeans and it will look really, really cool. But again, I'll show you that on. I got it in a size small because that was the only size I had, um, which is a 10 to 12 and it was at 10 pounds. I did want it in a smaller size, but they didn't have it. So we're just going to see what that one looks like. Um, but yeah, I'll try that on for you as well. Like, but like gym leggings. I yeah. don't actually own legging leggings. Yeah, yeah. But then I thought, I put it on, like, I tried it on because it only had a... Um, I didn't small. wear them with like jeans. Yeah, they only had a small, not an extra small. And then I thought, actually, because this is like elastic, I was like, you could oh, yeah. just elasticate that in and wear it like that. Yeah. And like I... you could even like layer it up. I would probably have wanted a smaller size, but this is just like extra crazy. I love that. Um, so this is the sweater on. I was just saying to Beth, um, like it's extra cozy like they didn't have a smaller size and i probably could have done with a smaller size but i'm not mad and i'm probably still going to keep it because i just feel really cozy warm and comfy and that is life and also then if you like take away the elastic it's just like a nice big massive sweater that i thought you could just wear to the gym or if you know you're having those days where you put your gym clothes on but you're not actually going to the gym i feel like this is like a nice big sweater to have on top that's just going to keep you really nice and warm and you could also even you can zip it up as well don't really get makeup on it though but you can actually pull it in you could even then put like a turtleneck underneath um for like layering and like a chain sassy cool and i've just paired it with my plt jeans that don't ever but do you know what if anyone watched my plt haul the sizing on them is ridiculous you, have to, you need like a your size size six on the leg but you've got to be 16 around your waist yeah you've got to be a size six on the way uh, on the legs no yeah size six on the legs and size like 20 on the waist because that's apparently how their sizes work these are an eight and i can't even describe to you how big these ones are so I just bought a six. They're literally the same size. I don't understand. So anyway, guys, that is the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed and found some like helpful, helpful? Found some cute things that you might like to go and purchase. Um, I do actually really recommend this gym wear. I think this is the first time that Primark have ever done a gym wear that I support. Like their sports bras are fine. Like I will always get their sports bras, like in a small size. And um, the leggings and stuff are normally always so see-through, but these two pairs that I have got today are not. So, thank you Primark. And they did actually have like zebra ones and all sorts of other patterned ones that you'll be able to go and see if you check out my Come Shop With Me. Um, I show everything there as well, like there's that like, hot pink and all sorts. Um, but anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you did, then please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll see you on my next video. Thank you so much for watching.